My name is Olivier Civelli. I am professor and chair of the Department of Pharmacology at UC Irvine. The project we are working on is to try to find pain relieving compound in traditional Chinese medicine. In the pharmaceutical industry, drugs are always aiming at one target. Ultimately, if you want to treat this kind of disorders, you need drugs which work at more than one target, polypharmacological drugs. In traditional medicine, you have drugs which work at more than one target. So we started with traditional medicine, hoping to find polypharmacological drugs. We team up with a group in China to try to find those polypharmacological drugs. Professor Liang is involved and wants to do the herbalome. What, uh, what that means is that he wants to characterize all the alkaloids which are contained in plants which are used in China as traditional medicine. The plant we focused on is a very well-known plant for its anti-pain properties. When Professor Liang extracted all the possible compounds, we found one compound which was acting a little bit on the morphine receptor. We tested that compound in pain assays. This new compound, it had a significant effect on an assay which measured acute pain. But that was not sufficient. Uh, we wanted to figure out if it had effect on other pain assay because I told you there is acute pain and this compound was found to have an effect on acute pain but there is inflammatory pain and therefore we also tested this compound on inflammatory pain and we find out that yes, here too, it can relieve inflammatory pain but the biggest interest was on chronic pain could this compound do something on chronic pain? So with a group here at UCI, a group of Dr. Luo, we tested an, in an animal model whether this compound had any effect on chronic pain. And we find out, yes, it also can decrease the sensation which occur when you have chronic pain. So this compound that we found is called dehydrocorribulbin or DHCB. It's a compound which, um, w as far as we understand, works in a manner which is quite surprising. We were expecting it to work on the morphine receptor. It does not work on the morphine receptor efficiently enough to relieve pain. We find out that this compound is able to inhibit the dopamine receptor. we foresee that because, of, because it acts on a receptor which is not thought to be involved uh, in uh, pain perception, it might have different mechanisms. Um, indeed, what is interesting is that one problem which is plaguing all the pain medication is that they become tolerant. When you take a pain medication, at the beginning you have a good response, it blocks the pain, but over time the response fades, it's called tolerance. Our compound in animal does not show any tolerance. Because it works on two different systems on the morphine receptor, maybe we don't see that tolerant effect and that is another advantage for our DHCB compound. We want to understand exactly how this compound works in the body and we want to continue our search on traditional Chinese medicine. We want to study pain relieving compound in the Corridalis plant. We want also to go toward other plants and try to find compounds which would be interesting on, in other human disorders.